Myers. These are all seasoned uh, bridge stumps, by the way, and twice we get into that event. So we can use the whole function on the vehicle and use that electricity when it comes available. Now, let's talk about a few other things to bolt to the Cadillac ELR. We have more horsepower, more torque, we have a wider stance on the track. It's identical on the length of the wheelbase, but the, the track is an inch wider. We're almost an inch lower on the roof line, and we're 10 inches longer, bumper to bumper, than that vehicle. It's a bigger car. It's a little heavier car. So therefore, we go from 273 pound-feet of torque, the Cadillac will have 295. We go from uh, the equivalency horsepower rating of a Volt 149, we'll be somewhere between 160 and 185 when it's all said and done and this vehicle launches. So we upgrade those two areas significantly. Now, here's where it all changes. So we're done with the Volt conversation, basically. I'll bring it up a little here and there, that this is a major difference, but everything that I'm about to tell you is a major difference. Obviously the shape, two doors versus four. The aerodynamics uh, and the uh, belly pan have been fully engineered. Now we're on 20 inch wheels and a beautiful look. Uh, these have the lunar gray pockets. And like I said before, low resistant roll uh, tire on, on the vehicle as well. Let me get back to my screen up here and see if I can pop in a little bit of a slideshow for you as well so we can access that screen as well. Here's a big change. LED lighting, Cadillac, you know, being an innovator, brought LED lights to the automobile back in 2000 in the back. And now we have LED headlights that we actually launched on our Escalades. All of the LED lights throughout the vehicle are better on energy. So they take less energy to light than traditional light bulbs. And the assemblies are beautiful. You can see the Cadillac script is on the inside of the rear tail light. It's also on the uh, inside of the headlamp assembly as well. The light spheres are LED fiber optics. So it gives you that great Cadillac look and the brand identification. And even on the rear where some of our vehicles Let's just take a V-Series CTS coupe, looks a lot like this. Three and a half inches actually longer than this car, but a very aggressive tail fin back here that actually gives functional downforce in the vehicle. We want to go the opposite way on this one. It'll go 100 miles an hour. It'll go 0 to 60 in about eight seconds, but we're certainly not hitting 200 miles an hour like we 